Welcome to ADCO Aviation. On the fifth video, I ended with the varnished wings and the pattern for the fuel tank. Now that the wings are varnished, it's time to cover those nose ribs. I had cut and rolled the plywood skins. Marking the glue lines was easy, every 12 inches. I taped off areas that I didn't want varnished. With the remaining varnish from in the cork can, I added about 10% thinner so that it would soak into the plywood good and brushed it on. I then covered the wings four foot at a time. I used a ratchet strap at every rib, clamped everywhere I could. If you'll notice, I made the plywood two inches wider than the circumference of the nose rib and spars, overlapping the ribs by one inch on the top and on the bottom. After the glue dried, I came back and trimmed off the extra, leaving integrated triangle braces at each rib as well as a glue surface for fabric around the protruding brackets at this point my wings came in just below 30 and a half pounds each so it was past time to order my covering supplies i decided to go with stewart system ecobond and 1.7 ounce fabric from aircraft spruce one thought here I decided to buy the iron kit for 180 bucks. I already had an iron for covering monocoat on my RC planes, but I figured I'd spend a little and get a better digital iron, which I found for 60 bucks. I wanted you to see what came in the kit because the description on aircraft spruce wasn't real clear. If you order their kit, you'll receive this $60 iron, but with Stewart Systems logo on the handle. This $53 iron, this $10 candy thermometer, and a $10 one ounce tube of Ron 10004 heat sink compound. That's only $133 worth of iron kit. But hey, it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas, Aircraft Spruce. I did, however, find a way to recoup some of that 50 bucks. I needed to find 2 inch angle iron for my folding wing hangers. I went to my local recycle center and dumpster dove and found a 6 foot piece of 2 inch angle aluminum for $1. I brought it home, cut off 2 8 inch pieces so far. We'll need more for the fuselage side hanging brackets. I drilled out and drew the outline of the hanging bracket that protrudes the top of the wing for hanging when folded. I mounted them 93 and 3 16 inch from the fuselage end. Actually, it's 99 inches from the pivot point of the front of the wing. I added a glue surface for the fabric that hopefully will be here soon. One final thought while we're discussing saving money. I found this article from the Home Built Airplanes Forum. It's titled, Corey's Covering Procedures. I've heard from several builders that said that they used exterior paint, but haven't found the details till now. It's a very good article for our uncertified ultralights. Anyway, he uses 3M Fastbond 30NF Contact Cement Green. I noticed his procedures appeared eerily similar to Stewart Systems. So I pulled the MSDS sheets for both Stewart Systems and 3M. Let's just say, from now on, I'll be buying $40 a quart 3M Fastbond versus the $75 to $80 a quart Ecobond. I'll place a link to the article in the YouTube description. You may have to have a profile to see it. You can always reach out to me and I'll send you a PDF version of the article. On the next video, we'll discuss how I covered the wings. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and maybe it can answer some questions that you may have 
or maybe even encourage you to start a build like this. If you want to start from the beginning of this build, I've placed a link in the playlist in YouTube's description. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you click the bell notification, you'll get a notice every time I upload another video. Thanks, happy building, and be safe.